How do fellas? It's Nige back here again. Uh, I'm actually sat in, in work down in Chippenham. Um, I just want to put this quick update on, on what happened at Brampton. Oh, not at Brampton itself, because Brampton itself was absolutely fantastic. At the hotel we were stopping at before. I'm. So we are still looking to try and get, uh, well not fighting insurance, probably, it's probably they're trying to be uh, funny buggers. They want so much information, it's untrue. So we're trying to get all that together for them. Uh, I've not heard anything back from the van company as yet. I've checked the van company's insurance and the stock is not covered under their insurance. So I can't get, it, can't get any money back that way. Um, again, I've not heard anything back about the excess or the deposit or anything else. So it's a case of waiting out still on that. So I don't know what's going ahead with that. So that being said, everything's still up in the air. We've started a GoFundMe page. Well, Lisa has. Uh, to try and get some, recoup some of our losses. It's something that we would not do at all. It's just something that we try to sort ourselves out. We try to get by ourselves. Everything we've done, we fought to for now ourselves. This has really hit all to six. It's, uh, it's hit my depression, my uh, PTSD. It's not, uh, I'm not sleeping well or anything like that because of this, because I feel guilty because it was my idea to get the van. And it was my idea to pick the hotel where things happened. So in my eyes, I feel it's my fault because I say that, you know, I, we, we could have probably stopped somewhere else. We could have probably stopped at home and traveled the next day. But we thought it'd be best for both our health to actually stop nearer where we were going to be. So we'd only have a short drive in the morning and then we can go in and get set up. Well, we know how that turned out, didn't we? Yeah. So, yeah, so we set up a gold fund page just to try and recruit some of the, uh, the losses. Uh, if, for whatever reason, we make over, if we do, you know, it'd be great, it'd be thanks to you guys, it, uh, over the, the actual total that we put down or what we've recruited. Any extra we make will be going to, to Models for Hero, Heroes. It's a great, great charity. I've not met Malcolm himself, but I have met a few others uh, at certain shows, at Brampton one. Um, whenever we can, we try and donate a kit to the charity so they can go and help out uh, other veterans like myself that struggle from PTSD, depression and all that sort of stuff, uh, that are feeling a bit lonely and what have you. Uh, there is a YouTube uh, uh, channel, there is a Facebook page and there is also a website. So go and check them out, that's Models for Heroes. What I'll do if I can find any of the information I'll put it down below as well, okay? And also we will be supporting British Legion now the British Legion are another fantastic charity and they've helped me out in the past. Uh, when I was at my worst in 2013, uh, I was on uh, sick benefit, incapacity benefit. Uh, it was so bad that I was having to have my wife care for me. So you, she was helping me go and do my ablutions uh, and stuff like that. I was collapsing, uh, my kids were finding me collapsed on the floor or wherever. So British Legion helped through that. When we got into our new house, they paid for some furniture, they paid for flooring and carpets throughout the whole whole house. Um, they got us new mattresses, new beds, wardrobes, drawers, and all that sort of stuff. They helped with that. So the British Legion, another fantastic cause. And again, I'll find their main webpage and I'll put that down below as well. Okay, anyway, that's it from me.
uh, any help, okay, any help will be greatly appreciated. And you guys just watching and subscribing the videos helps as well. Okay, so thank you very much, and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now. So, a quick update to what I said earlier. Okay, as you can see, uh, I'm now sat in my hotel room. And earlier on today, around about four o'clock, I got an email from the hire company. They have had the quote or they uh, had had the work done and the total for the work, okay, came to 2,800 and odd pounds. Now I'm gonna flash up uh, a couple of pictures and hopefully I can do it right so you can see the actual damage to the door that these thieving tow rags actually did. And as you can see, are there any damage there at all? Okay, now I do understand that I'll see the one to match it back up, make it look right and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I get that. But why did they take off the rear bumper? That's what it says. Sorry about that, phone call. Yeah, so where was it? Yes, why did they take off the rear bumper? And all other host of things within uh, the actual invoice. I'm not showing that invoice. But the grand scheme of things, they now want £1,200 off of me within the next seven days. Bear in mind, today is the calendar. Get my calendar up. Can I get my watch on? Oh, God. It's the 11th. So today's the 11th. So by the 18th, they want paying £1,200. So we're end up going to go to Sitting's Advice, see if they can offer any advice on that. At, at the moment, guys, it's it's why why do we go? I, I, we've been a victim of a crime, yet we are paying for it. Why is that right? Yeah, why why is that right? Anyway, yeah, so that's just the update. Uh, we'll be at Lincoln uh, on, on Sunday. So if you see this video, I'll see you there. Uh, we will be at Telford. So again, come say hello. And then we'll be at London. Now, I'm hoping Telford and London will help uh, kickstart things for, for Lisa. She's at the moment, she's, at, she's right at the bottom. She's got COVID as well, so that's not helped matters. So she just feels really, really down and depressed at the moment. And um, to be fair, I do. I do as well. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, fellas.